So for this pattern, you're going to want to pick your yarn. So this is a three-ply baby yarn, and this is just a multi-color. Then you want size five straight needles. And these slippers don't need stitch holders or double pointed needles or anything. We're just working off the two needles. So this will be pretty simple. And you'll be needing a sewing needle. So there are three different sizes. So you have three months, six months, and 12 months. This video is demonstrating three months. Other written instructions are down below in the description box below this video. So you want to take your yarn and your needles and you want to cast on 39 stitches. Now if you're working with a multicolored yarn and you want yours to relatively match in the way the colors transition, make sure you mark a point of how you're starting. So like this one goes white to pink to purple and all that. So if you start your first one by casting on right where the pink starts, start the same way with your next one. So you can use any form of cast on. I'm just using the regular long tail cast on method and you want to cast on 39 stitches. So once you've worked your cast on, this is the right side of your work. So you want to begin a knit one, purl one rib. And if you want a cuffed slipper, then you can work this for two inches. If you just want a short one to be more of a moccasin type look of which I am showing, you just want to work four rows of a knit one purl one rib. So you just want to begin your rib and make sure you keep track of your work by marking it down on a piece of paper so that your second slipper will match. And we're just going to repeat this, keeping in our rib for our total of four rows. So once you have your ribbing all worked, now we're going to be starting the instep. And the instep is the top of our slipper. So for this row, we want to knit across 14 stitches. Then purl three. Knit five. Purl three. And then that's all we're going to work. So you'll be leaving 14 stitches on your left needle. Then what you want to do is turn your work. So now we'll only be working these center stitches. So then for row two of our instep, we're going to knit three. Purl five. Knit three. Now we're just going to stop there, leaving the 14 on our left needle. So now you're going to turn your work. And for row three, we're going to begin with a purl three. Knit five. Purl three. Turn your work. Row four, we're going to knit three. Purl five.
knit three. Then you want to turn your work and now we're going to repeat the last two rows three times. So then once you work your instep rows, you'll have a long piece like this and then you'll have your side 14 stitches on each side. So then you want to go ahead and cut your yarn and now what we're going to be doing is right here so you have your cut yarn your instep stitches and your 14 on your left needle and you just have your 14 on your right. We're going to be picking up stitches along this side here. So we want to pick up 8 stitches. So you want to go ahead and leave a tail of yarn behind your work. And you want to take your right needle and you're going to pick up eight stitches along this side row here. So if you need to pre-space them out to make sure that the eight will fit in there, you can go ahead and do that, but then you're just going to insert your needle, wrap like a normal stitch, and pull a loop up through your work. And just repeat that until you get eight stitches. So now you have your 14 stitches and your 8 picked up stitches on your needle. So then we're going to work across our instep stitches now. So you want to knit 4. Then you want to knit 2 together. knit 5, so now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to pick up 8 stitches along this side of our instep. So you want to just insert your needle, wrap like a normal stitch and pull a loop up. Then you're just going to knit the 14 stitches on your left hand needle. So your work should look like this. Now we're just going to turn our work and we're going to work five rows of garter stitch. So we're just going to knit every row. So once you've worked your five rows, it should look something like this. So right side up, here's the toe, and these are your sides, and this is the heel that we then sew together. So now we're shaping the foot. So for row one, you want to begin a repeat of knit one, knit two together,
knit 21 knit two together knit one and you want to repeat that over your remaining stitches then for row two of our shaping and all alternating rows we're just going to knit a plain row For row three, you want to begin with a repeat of knit one, knit two together, knit 19, Knit two together, knit one, and repeat. For row five, you want to begin a repeat of knit one, knit two together, knit 17. Knit two together, knit one, and repeat. For row seven, you want to begin with a repeat of knit one, knit two together. Knit 15, knit 2 together, knit 1, and repeat. For row 9, you're going to begin a repeat of knit 1. Knit two together, knit 13, knit two together, knit one, and repeat. For row 11, you want to begin a repeat of knit one, knit two together, knit 11, Knit two together, knit one, and repeat. So now for row 12, we're going to do a knit bind off. So you're just going to knit two stitches like normal and do this a little loose, don't pull too tight. Then pull that first stitch over and off. Knit one more stitch, pull that first stitch over and off, and just continue your knit bind off until you run out of stitches. So 
So once you're all done, then this is what your piece will look like. So you just want to cut a somewhat long tail and thread it onto the end of a needle. Then with your right side facing outward, and that's the one where the stockinette is above the toe, we're going to sew the bottom of our slipper. So what you want to do is the corner that it's your yarn is coming out of, you want to go to the other side and pick up that same corner and then go through the one it's connected to to secure both sides together. Then the way that I like to sew up the bottom is to go, see these side ridges right here? So pick up the one across from where your yarn is coming from. Then pick up the matching one from below. Then go back to the top. And you're just going to keep going back and forth. And it almost creates like another knit row, so it's pretty seamless. You can use any method that you like for stitching this up. This is just how I did it. Then once you complete this, you weave it through to the inside and fasten it off. And then you'll just stitch up your back seam and then you'll be done. So this is what it looks like once it's all sewn together. And you can see that the bottom seam is pretty seamless. And then you have your back seam. and you're done. So I hope you guys try these out. They're super quick and really fun to make. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.